Walk that, walk that, walk that. Now, I ain't Roddy Rich. My stick ain't in the box. <laughs> What is this? I'm cute and this is cute. Double trouble. Young group today is Wednesday, November something, and I am on my way to Decorators Warehouse, which is something that I saw on the billboard when I was driving, and it obviously seems to be like a Christmas warehouse where you can get um, some things, and so I want to go check it out. It is in Arlington, which is pretty kind of pretty sort of kind of far from me. It's about 37 minutes from me, so we're on the road again. Road again. Let me tell you something. As someone. I believe if they want to they will and usually I would like to I always tend to use that phrase when it comes to romantic involvement but no it's regarding everything including myself including friends everything as we get older as things start to happen whether that's family marriage um, location distance proximity job everything like that schedules are limited to what they can and cannot do regarding friendships and free time understood understandable but as I've stated before if I'm the one always reaching out to try to schedule something or try to do something I'm going to step back because mutual effort and reciprocity is the name of the game it should not be like pulling teeth when it comes to seeing you <laughs> you know I don't want anything from you except your presence and why is that too much time and time and time and time and time again I ask for nothing and receive less in return and it's unbelievable to me now I will say that I'm very sensitive when it comes to stuff like that because it's my love language acts of service and quality time making that time out for me makes me believe lets me believe that you love me you love me enough to carve out some time during your day during your week uh, even if it's a little inconvenient for you or you might want to use that time to sleep or just lay around but instead you're like you know what you know uh, Ruka wants to see me I haven't seen her in a while let me just sacrifice this little bit of time that I have just to see her you know that stuff like that makes me feel good and I feel like that. I, I, I really don't be asking for much man I really don't especially someone who's limited in their resources like I'm not asking you to pay for nothing I'm not asking you to see nothing if anything we could chill at the crib that's nothing to me because again what I'm really looking for is your presence it's your time you know what I'm saying? I want to hear about your day. I want to hear how you're doing. I want to hear your thoughts. I want you to hear my thoughts. I want to vent to you. I want you to vent to me. I want my safe space around me. And I can't even have that because you're not making the time out for me. And like, it's gotten to the point where I'm I'm doing things by myself. But shit, how many things am I going to do before my, by myself before I'm like, well, dang. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to do this by myself. I want... that like to turn white on me but lady I only like one I can't believe I turn my shit white why is that oh my gosh I use lip oil to try to get away from ashy lips and now 
there's like a white residue around my shit. Am I using too much? Is the oils mixing with my saliva and it's not, it's, it's not liking that? It's not getting funky with that? What is that? Ooh wee. But yeah, you know, I, I'm so comfortable with myself that of course I like doing things by myself. But you know, sometimes I just want a little bit of company. That's all. We're not doing anything crazy. I'm not asking you to come to Florida with me. Like, let's just go get some coffee. Let's chat. But this is something I'm always complaining about, so let me shut the hell up. I want Suya so bad, but Suya now is $30 and I, without an actual course, like a meal, just to Suya. They give you enough. Uh -uh, nigga. You don't have to be slowing down. See this guy zooming. You don't have to be slowing down like this. What the f That is so crazy. What is that? What is that? Oh my God. Isn't that so weird? Oh my God. That is so weird. You know what? I would rather have ashy lips than that shit because that is crazy oh my gosh that's so weird Jesus. Oh, there's so many places. Y'all, this place, this place is beautiful. It's beautiful. Oh my God. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Wow. Oh, dear. 
Lucius unrelated. <laughs> Why is that tree six hundred dollars? You see that? Hell no. Thank God I still got my tree. Oh, I think this is a retail place. They're talking about warehouse. Look, that's ninety-five dollars. Hell no. Unless it's real, and it ain't. I don't think it is. No, it ain't. Okay, so I know, I know, cause that read is three hundred dollars. So I know this is not. I thought this was gonna be like a discounted place, but it is not a discounted place. So that's good to know. This is absolutely so, I might come in here just to take pictures. Oh my God, it's so beautiful in here. Oh my goodness. I'm literally shaking with so fucking fire in here. Look at these big ass bulbs. Wow. Wow. How are you? I'm amazed. I am. <laughs> am I content? <laughs> yes, I am. Yeah. Yeah, this is my first time in here. Oh my God. I'm shook. Yes. I don't stay close by here. I don't stay close by here. I've been like work, but I've been shopping here for 20 years. It's been open that long? Oh yeah, this is like, this location has been like 14, 15 years. This is a beautiful store. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure. Every Everything, so I'm going to have to Everything sift is, through. Yeah, I'm oh, going to have to sift through. You know, all that. Yeah, <laughs> you have such a nice smile. Yes. you. Okay, cool. I saw you at your Yeah, you said, are you contenting? I'm using that now. I'm a real estate agent. Okay. You dibble and dabble, yeah, yeah. yeah. Are you on TikTok? Are you on Instagram? I am. Good, good. Let me see. Yeah, what's your name? R U K A Ruka. Ruka. Which nice one are you? Meet you. Awesome possum, oh, cherry blossom. You? Thank you so much, Are Leslie. You're welcome. Hey. Ruka. Yeah. <laughs> I like. That. Yes. Well, have a great day. You I too. Anything, we'll do. Thank you. What the hell is this? What is this? Is this like a tree? This place is insane. I don't know what I was expecting, but I was not expecting this. Wow. I haven't turned this off yet. Um, but I have to find the shop. Hundred seventy nine bucks. Hundred seventy nine dollars. Okay. Let me put y'all down so I can actually shop. And I'll be right back. Oh my God, they're huge. They're so big. Let me see what I want for real. 
y'all that place shook me to the moon i have never been so in love with a place it was beautiful it was magical i legit would come back here just to take pictures of myself because it was so beautiful like each crevice and inch of that of that place was decked out in holiday and christmas decor and there were the different themes different trees different ornaments different lights oh my gosh it was magical that's what christmas is supposed to feel like that is what the holiday season is supposed to feel like but with that being said everything in there was pricey they would say 50% off and the and the ornament would still be $20 per one ornament. Not this bitch. I have an apartment. I don't have a mansion. And I think a lot of the, the a lot of the decor in there were for houses, for homes. Now, I could be mistaken, but it looked like it was for a particular demographic and that particular demographic is the one percenters. Now, if you it ain't tricking if you got it. If you got it, flown it. Boy, I know you want it. While I turn around, you watch us check up on. Ooh, you watching me shake it? I see it. But now, cause I'm in the holiday spirit, I'm gonna go to at home see if there's at home close by, and then go there. Um, and then just check that out, and then go to Hobby Lobby. I know that's right, GG. Nah, nah, driving a little beetle. I know that's right, Queen. But yeah, it was beautiful. This one, they are Ooh, so they're cool. Oh, that shit looks good. You want to try without the sauce first and then yeah. try it with the sauce? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, beautiful ass plate. Mm. <laughs> oh, this shit looks good. Ooh. Put it in the sauce, put it in the sauce, put it in the sauce. Oh my god, look at it. Oh, yeah. mm. and the Ooh. sauce is cool. Oh. <laughs> Mind y'all, she oh is a chef slash baker, and she's not easily impressed. It's like melted ice cream. Jennifer's not easily impressed. But it's not impressed. melted ice cream. She's actually very hard to please. <laughs> I, <laughs> when it comes to food, she don't play. And other things. Uh, ah! <laughs> yeah, this is. Okay. Shout out to friends that love me. My friend Jennifer, she got me. She arranged these. And got me some beautiful flowers. <laughs> so we went to uh, Cork and Pig in some place. It was cool. It was pretty packed in there for a Wednesday. That's kind of crazy. But uh, I got, she got a chicken sandwich. She said her chicken sandwich was good. I got some uh, grilled chicken with some type of cream sauce and mashed potatoes. Bland. It was bland as hell. But I ate it though, because what? Paid for it. And then she got beignets. Them hoes was fire. I said, ooh, wait. If I was to go back, I'll go back for that. I'll go back for the happy hour. And I'll go back for the beignets. But um, it's always a really good time when I link up with her. I think, you know, I take, I don't take my friendships for granted. But I appreciate the ones that I do have because, you know, I, I was talking to her and I was just very, very vulnerable with her. And it's refreshing to be vulnerable with somebody without any judgment for real. And she, I know she feels the same way regarding me because there's nothing for me to judge. You my girl. You my girl. We not girl. Did you know that we love you? Oh girl. I've been knowing you since you were 10. You cannot hide from your friends. Um, yeah, I really do love her. So, shout out to Jennifer. I was going to come on here and say something to y'all. But obviously, it's not that important. I think about it when I think about it. But, uh, uh-oh. Come swoop. There it is. I, um, going to work tomorrow. So, I don't know if I'll do any recording. But, yeah, Decorators Warehouse. 
very expensive. I didn't go to at home because there there was no close at home to the decorators warehouse that I was at. So I'm just go during the weekend just to get some, see if I could get anything. But yeah, very expensive. I, whenever I hear a warehouse, I'm thinking like re, uh, reduced prices. You know, I'm thinking about like Sam's Club, Costco, you know, warehouse that's cheap. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. You know, even Hobby Lobby, when they say like half off of original price, it'd be like twenty four ninety nine to twelve ninety nine. You know what I'm saying? Like something like that. I'm not. I wasn't getting that. But yeah, I had an okay day. It was cool. The conversation that we was having, I think it just really hit home for me. You know, uh, I have the grip. I have a, a tight, tight rein. I'm trying to gain control of my life, and sometimes I feel like I just have to surrender and let go, which is something that I've been talking about a lot. But, you know, it's time to put my money where my mouth is. I'm done talking. I'm done talking. It's time to walk that walk. You can walk that walk. Yeah, so I just got to, I got to put, I got to move and groove, baby. And one thing that I'm seeing a lot of is like pivoting, you know, doing something that changes the whole trajectory of your life. And I'm tired of the days blending in on one another. I just feel like the days are so long yet so short at the same time. You know, I wake up at 8. Get my work done. Next thing I know, it's 3 o'clock. Next thing I know, it's 7 p.m. Next thing I know, it's the next day. Damn. You know, I want to feel something exciting in my life. Something something new and refreshing and, and, and something I'm passionate about. Instead of being hung up on these niggas. <laughs> Sorry. I'm a motherfucking G. I don't even know what that was. <laughs> anyway, I am. I feel my cycle is coming, so. Everything is coming but me. <laughs> oh, God. I am going to bed. Because that's. That's what I need to do. <laughs> I need to do <laughs> Fuck these niggas get money. Right. right. Hey y'all. It's your girl Young Roots. I don't know, did I get on the camera today? I don't think I did. It, I just got back from work. It is Thursday, November 9th. Um, it's 5.40, so I'm really tired. But it was a productive day, I guess. Anyways, whenever I feel like I want a new phone. This is how I went to work, by the way. So the hair looks, you see how the hair looks way better um, when it's to the back with a headband? So I'm just leave it as a headband as a hairband wig, you know, I, and I think it's too dense anyway, so, you know, just leave it out how it is, but every time I want a new phone, instead of just actually getting a new phone, I, I got some phone cases, and we're going to open them together, this is the first one, oh, it's cute, it's the first one, um, they lost the package that had the other ones in it, so I re-bought them, and then they found the package. So I have duplicates. Oh, but it's cute. Okay. And it's it's soft but hard. <laughs> and it looks like this. It's cute. I like it. It's cute. So that's the first one. And then, again, these might be duplicates. Yeah, so this is the duplicate. So you see. And then I got this one, which is... A green, like, wavy case. I like this one. It's just green. Money green. Green is attracted to me. I thought it would be 
Oh, it has sparkles in it. I thought it would be like a little darker, but I don't mind it. I don't mind it. It's cute. And nobody has green. People usually have like the silver one. Um, and then, of course, the duplicate. I'm going to be returning that. And then lastly, we have... <sighs> this case which is kind of like a embroidered case it's it's eclectic no one will have it it has like it's kind of like furry let me make sure my nose not dirty it's kind of like furry this is cute and this is this is a hard case oh this is cute it looks like carpet i know but it's still like cute it's still cute so which one you like you know which one i really like i like cutesy shit so it's this one, this one, and then this one. I'm gonna try this one first to see how I like it on there. Ooh, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. I'm such a, I'm a baby girl in a baby world. Cause this one is so scratched up. I'm just gonna probably buy a, a duplicate and just um, throw this one away. But ooh, my, um, Phone dirty cheese. Now I ain't Roddy Rich. My stick ain't in the box. Okay, so I'm gonna try this. Put this one on here. The thing I don't like is that these usually obstruct the camera. I don't like that. But other than that, that's why I would prefer. Ooh, this is so cute. And I like I like my phone to have like a certain weight to it. Let me see how the camera looks. Why do I look orange? See, that's the shit. Why do I look orange? Mm hmm. Because there's no reason I should look orange. There's like a glare. It's cute as fuck, though. Oh, that's cute as shit. I'm sorry. That's cute as shit. Okay. But anyway, we're going to try the other one still. Just to see how I like them. So the green one. Let's put the green one on. Let's see. That's the green one. I like it plain, ready to mingle. I don't look orange in this one. Just regular degular. I'm not a regular degular bitch though, so you know that might have to go. <coughs> And then this one. Oh, this, yeah, this one. Oh, this one feels really good. This one feels really good. And I'm not orange. What is this? Oh, this one feels really good. Oh my gosh. This one feels the best out of all of them. This one feels the best. Like, it just feels the best. But. To me, it's the ugliest. <laughs> it is the ugliest. But it feels the best. Like, it makes me feel like the phone is big because I have big, big, big hands. But it's the ugliest. Damn. Oh, well. I will be returning this one. And then I will be returning... No, I think I'm going to keep the green one. But yeah, this is, of course, this is the one I'm going with. Um, it just fits me better, in my opinion. And I love it a lot. So, I just wanted to share with y'all these head, I said headphones. Damn, this whole, this whole, this whole not playing with me. It's so cute. Like, stop playing. Stop playing. I'm cute, and this is cute. Double trouble. Double trouble. I might need a Q-tip because the camera's a little dirty. Yeah, this is cute. It's cute as fuck. And it has like a, like a purpley, like kind of like glare thing. Gleam thing. exactly what I wanted. I think I'm going to buy another. There's another one like this. And I'm going to buy it. 
And this was $9.99. Let me go look. It was ten dollars. I wouldn't well, I open up my bank account. That's how you know I need to stop spending money. Cause my bank account is telling me to stop it. Okay. You looking at my lace? Let's see. Yeah, it was ten dollars. So ten dollars and then it has different Now I got thirty two flavors of that booty delicious bubble gum. Um, and I want this one, but it's not in stock yet. It's still out. It's still out of stock. Ooh, we got a 5% discount. Baby. But look, this one is cuter a little bit. I know you might not be able to tell the difference, but I can. And this one's cuter, so I'm going to cop this one right now. I just have that in the back of my mind. That shit just, that just took 50, 50 cents off. What kind of bullshit is that? Hmm. Yeah, so I think I'm gonna keep the green one and then return the other two. Yeah. And if you want me to put it in the my Amazon storefront, I will. But yeah, I'm like this wig is so tight on my head. It's so crazy, but it looks so much better to me than it did on Sunday. And I didn't do anything to it. I didn't put no water on it or anything. I just put the headband on and went to work. Cause I was already like, kind of like running late. But yeah, tell me if you like it. I think it looks way better like this. And I was looking for kind of like a at home, like leisurely wig. And so this was it. What time is it, 5.15, but yeah. Super cute. One thing about, like, watching vlogs, I be picking up, like, things that I, I don't even know that I be picking up things until I say it. Like, super cute, I be watching Chelsea's vlog, and then, like, when I be like, I'ma have it. <laughs> I got that from Jamima. Like, it's just stuff like that. Um, but, yeah, anyway, I can't wait to take this whole out. Bye. Hey, y'all, it's late at night. Um, I just finished eating watermelon and lemon, and I am just scrolling. And so, if you do not know, I feel like now it's just time to kind of like be informed about things that's going on. I think a lot of my subscribers, their main kind of um, platform that they utilize is YouTube in itself, and you know, I'm addicted to social media and so i don't know if you guys know so i'm just gonna put it out there kiki palmer recently submitted a restraining order on her boyfriend darius jackson and if you guys remember a couple months ago kiki palmer went to go see usher in vegas and she wore kind of like a see-through dress and her husband went on twitter or excuse me not husband. Her boyfriend went on Twitter and stated, you're a mom though. You shouldn't be, basically you shouldn't be wearing that. So Kiki Palmer has now filed a uh, restraining order stating that not only has Darius, that is the ex-husband's name. Uh, why do I keep saying husband? That is the ex-boyfriend's name, Darius Jackson. And Palmer told the court, I am very concerned for Leo's safety with Darius given his violent, Leo is their son, given their violent, volatile, and jealous nature, comments he has made which has caused me grave concern and the lack of restraint Darius has already exhibited regarding his temper in front of our son. The entertainer claims that Darius Jackson had been abusive during their relationship which lasted from June 2021 to October 2023. The abuse during our relationship was not just physical, but emotional and manipulative. Darius would quote unquote love bomb me and make me feel like I was the most important woman in the world only to get extremely distant and cold over a perceived insult to him, she wrote in an emotional declaration. Kiki Palmer claimed Darius Jackson showed up at her home unannounced on November 5th, 2023. She said before 11 a.m., Jackson burst into her bedroom and demanded to see their son. Kiki Palmer said he wanted to take their eight-month-old to a football game. 
Kiki Palmer opposed him taking their son. She claimed Darius Jackson started screaming at her before he lunged at me, grabbed at my neck and face, knocked me backwards over the couch, stole my phone out of my hands, and then ran out of the house. She said the police were called and spoke to all and spoke to all parties. Palmer said that the police told her to file the restraining order. In her petition, Kiki Palmer described another incident that went down in February of 2022. The actress said Jackson choked me and body slammed me onto the stairs in my home after becoming violently jealous and irrationally angry over a bikini picture. Palmer said Jackson became enraged over a bikini photo of her. She said she showed him a photo of her workout results while at a friend's party. That is crazy. I guess when I talk too much, I have to see it's when I talk too much. That is so nasty. That is so nasty. I want I bought four of them. She said she only showed him the photo, but he still became upset. On a drive home, I was worried that we would get into an accident because of how angry he was. Darius spent the rest of the night yelling at me, not letting me sleep so he could keep yelling at me, she said. In the bedroom, he slammed me on the floor and slapped my head from side to side. The next morning, he was standing at the bottom of the stairs near the front door, screaming at me as I was coming down the stairs, Palmer said. When I was almost at the bottom of the stairs, he grabbed me around the neck and body and body slammed me back onto the stairs. Palmer included screenshots of the security camera footage from both incidents. A judge has yet to sign off, off the petition. Also, if you didn't know, the guy from Insecure, Dre from Insecure, this guy. This guy is Darius Jackson, which is Kiki Palmer's ex-boyfriend. This is this, the brother. Then Kiki Palmer's mother uh, submitted a video stating that the brother, Darius Jackson's brother, I don't know how to say his name, honestly. It's, we could call him Samurai. Saronis, 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 I don't know. But we're going to call him Samurai, Samurai Jackson, Samurai Jack. Hey, ooh, that's perfect, Samurai Jackson, Samurai Jack. Um, so Kiki Palmer's mother submitted a video stating that because this stupid nigga, oh, sorry, I was trying not to curse, but I just, I find it, I find stuff like this repulsive. I think that everybody, abusers are the best actors. I think they're sick in the head and I think there should be a punishment above, or excuse me, below jail time. And like not quite um, execution of the death penalty, but also not just jail time. Maybe like getting into like a block, a cell block that, has deranged um, prisoners, male prisoners in there who only like men and have it look like a boondocks episode. But anyways, Samurai Jack tweeted, the most disgusting, vile, abusive, manipulative person I have ever encountered in my life. Abuses, um, abuses almost everyone, y'all will see. Just send positive energy to the babies. Any child in the middle of something like this does not deserve it at all. Wow, so damn sad. His brother retweeted this tweet. Darius the abuser retweeted this tweet. And so, I just, I believe that social media is very, very desensitized and takes everything and makes a joke out of it, makes it lighthearted. When we first um, saw Darius on the Twitter scene when he commented what he commented regarding Kiki Palmer's outfit at the Usher residency, people took it as a joke. We didn't have, have much to go on. We thought Kiki, Kiki didn't speak on it at all because she's a businesswoman. She continued doing her thing and then her birthday came through and they were seen together. So, you know, it was just, it just goes to show she, they didn't break up about anything until now and has been resurfaced again. And I just think that people who apologize or make excuses for abusers are just as bad as abusers. And this is excluding victims. I'm not being kiki in that circle at all. But I think that abuse isn't something that's funny. It isn't something that's lighthearted. It isn't something that you can make a joke of. And whether Kiki Palmer put out the photos, whether her PR team put out the photos, whether somebody leaked the photos and the footage of the uh, surveillance of him abusing her, even if those photos and those videos did not exist, her word is enough to me. 
her calling the police, a man came to her crib unannounced, telling them that they want to take their son to the football game. He's already abused her physically once before, but he consistently um, abuses her physically, I mean, emotionally and mentally. Comes unannounced, talking about he wants to take their eight-month-year-old, eight-month-old to a football game at the crack ass of dawn. And he already has previous transgressions of putting his hands on her. Not only that, it's not only just putting his hands on her, knocking her head from side to side, pushing her through the stairs, choking her, lunging at her. When it comes to the point where you can, you know when somebody begins to fear for their life. You know that somebody is forcing themselves to stay in a situation they don't want to be in for fear of their son getting hurt or their children getting hurt for fear of them dying. And I think that I hate that it's so public because they are public figures. I hate that it's so public and she has to relive this pain both privately and publicly, but also it brings awareness to just how apologetic society is, especially in this country when it comes to male abuse. Like, I know this, it, it sounds kind of sick in the head, but one thing that I guess a fat woman's privilege is that I don't have to live with the fear that some of my friends have to live with. One of uh, my best friend, actually, she, one time we were talking about it, and she says that every time she goes to her car, she puts keys in between her knuckles and holds them just in case she has to turn around and stab the shit out of somebody. I have friends who can't go out by themselves because aesthetically they're too pretty to, to do so. A man will come and approach her or harass her or worse. And... This is coming from strangers, so you're getting harassed by strangers. I can only imagine what it's like to live with or be in a relationship with an abuser who physically, emotionally, mentally abuses you to where you don't know what to think. One minute, you're the only, you're the only light in their life, and the next minute, you're bleeding from your mouth because they punched the shit out of you. And unfortunately, it's not uncommon. It's not uncommon. And it just hurts that, for me, it just hurts seeing a woman that is so public, who's so funny, and who brings light and joy into every environment she steps in, going through something like this. And they, te and they tell you, the ones that are the funniest, they're funniest because the trauma is what drives them. And it just sucks that there's not enough hate coming his way. And then after all of this came out, he, like, after all of this came out, he tweeted, I love you, son. See you soon. Sick, sick bastard. Sick, sick, sick nigga. You're getting scrutinized and... The truth is being revealed that you're an abuser and this is what you tweet. I hope she takes your son away from you because she did file for, for sole custody. I hope you never see your child again. I hope you're nowhere near him. That way he won't be taught that abuse. He's too young now to see what you're doing, even though you're doing it in front of him. But I hope that when he grows, he doesn't have to see that from you ever again. You're a sick fuck and you deserve to be punished thoroughly. That's all I have to say. Thank you. I know this vlog ended on a serious note, but I hate when topics like this get swept under the rug. However, it needs to be talked about, and I will see you all in the next vlog. Bye.